Good morning, good morning, good morning everybody. Right, let's go. I'll go down and feed the fish, open up Shea Clarice and I don't know if there's going to be any beasties down here guys because I have left my cushions on the day bed which I usually take off every time I come out the door or before I come out the door and lock up. So the little blighters tend to hide behind. We'll go down there, feed the fish, we'll have a wee natter and then I'll have a wee look about. Alright, right, let's go. The sun is absolutely blinding. This is loads of tomatoes that we've still got. These are the red cherries. No, they're not. They're the red pear. And there's still absolutely tons of I had to take the side shoots out last night, guys, because the weather here has dropped for us, which is absolutely fantastic. Because, as you do know, we have been almost 40, and sometimes we have been 40. And here, what have we got in here? Oh, I've not shut the car door. I was out shopping earlier. And here, let me see. Hoping you can pick that up. This is on way to Chez Clarice, the she shed. And we have some beetroot in there, Bolt Hardy. Some carrots coming up in a row. Haven't come up in the middle, but they've come up near enough at the end. I think I mentioned this in the last video. Now, if you see any kind of white dried in powder on it we did in fact have flea beetle in there so all the plants have been covered in diatomaceous earth and it tends to kill them off and i'm just going to have a wee quick look my sunglasses on i don't seem to see any so in there we have our broccoli Kuros broccoli, we have Brendan Brussels sprouts and uh, oh, I'm sure we've got the odd cabbage in there. Brunswick cabbage, I think. Down here, in this wee bit, I've took the net off now. We have some pak choy up the back. They were just put out a week ago and they were all kind of flopping about. But as I said, the temperature's dropped, so my plants have uh, and are coming on great now. As I said in another video also, that uh, courgettes and everything are just starting to kick off now. It's been too hot and everything's been frazzled. These here... Uh, these here are the flowers from the rat's tail radish, if you've ever seen them. Apparently you don't eat the bulbs, but I did pull one out last night and oh, it was absolutely fantastic and very, very nippy. Is what I look for in a radish. When the flowers die off, we get the seed heads, which indeed resemble rats' tails. And that's what you eat. What a lovely wee flowers that's on them. So we'll see how we go. I didn't get many seeds, so I've kept a few for next year. And most of these have been transplanted in here after being grown on elsewhere. And as you can see, they're looking well. And unfortunately, we lost our second chicken of the week. Our oldest and favourite chicken made it all. Was found up the back of the garden yesterday. Absolutely stiff as a board. Within an hour, go and open up the sheds, Clarice. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is the coolest I've felt in here in a long time. Honestly, when the temperatures drop, guys, from 30, 40, down to normal type temperatures for us, it starts feeling rather lippy. There we go. Let's see here in the heebie-jeebies. Just to move my cushions. Right, let's move you around a wee bit, guys. We'll have a wee... Hello. A wee look in a minute. A wee knack in a minute and I'll move a couple of things. So that's the boxes moved and what I do, usually when I come in, is give it a wee feek along the corners. Not too much. I use that because I'm absolutely paranoid and the very first time that I had a wee sleep in here, no. Second time I had to sleep in here, what I actually did was I had a wee lie there and left all the cushions on because it looked 
very nice, very fancy. And come down the next day, and just without looking, lay my wee head down, put my feet up, went for, to go for another wee sleep, and see the thick, well that's too sunny. Sorry about the sun guys, but see the, the fluffy web that you get? Well, I could have felt something, you know how you know something's not quite right, and I looked to the side and it was all up my head. So I jumped up right off the day bed, came across here, and as soon as I turned around to look, there was a big, oh, a big black spider. And then I got a wee squish of the fly colour before I leave, and it tends to work for my witch's broom, or what we use in France all the time. As these wee broom brushes. Let's give that a wee dust down the side. Don't fancy sitting at my table and getting a heebie jeebie crawling about my leg. I'm going to do it as I'll be back in two mementos. I'm just going to go down and feed the fish at the pond. I'll be right back. We shall go out and have a wee look and I'll show you just a wee quick what's and all of the garden and what's going okay. Right, that's us out at Shea Clarice little patio area. Of my bottle brush plant there. This all needs raked up. Let's have a wee look in here. I don't know if you can manage to see this, but the colour is absolutely beautiful. Let me see it. I've got it double wrapped for the sun. I think you can just about pick it up, guys, can you? Now, that's the Caribbean spinach. Callaloo, and it's part of the Amaranth family. And it's taken me three years of seeds to get it to grow. It was double the size of that, and then we get the sun, and it goes on flops over like lettuce. What have we got in here? Have we got... What else have we got in here? Quite a few things in here have died off. Oh, there's some wild mushrooms. But I'm sure we do have the odd cabbage in there. It's coming back to life again. And some Swiss chard and pak choy. But the callaloo is absolutely beautiful and I was dying to eat it. And then when I looked it up, it said because of my kidney problem. It is so high in potassium that I cannot indeed it. So what a shame, but I hope you'll enjoy it. Look at this guys, I did say what's and all. Look at this area of the garden, I did say what's and all. It has been totally and utterly frazzled to within an inch of its life. That's the leaves and the acorns starting to fall, that's the pond. The fish pond to be up there. And underneath my enormous let me see if I can zoom up for you. Try to go as slow as possible, but honestly, it's absolutely, absolutely, look, it's going right over my head. Absolutely gigantic. And underneath there, it gets very dry, as you can imagine, because it's shaded. And this, indeed, here is also... Frazzled. Look, the bamboos even died off. So, 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 so hot this year. It's been unbelievable. The only thing that seems to be growing well, I think, is the passion fruit. That is my Ville de Leon early clematis just dying back, so that will get cut right back to the ground. And down here is where the chickens usually go. And Roy's tatties that's roy's tatty plot and we did manage to get some potatoes out of it but the chickens are down here every day and ripped most of them up but that's the bottom of it. look everything's all limp limp and feeling sorry for itself now this garden this bit of the garden where the septic tank and everything is just gets used by the chickens and i made a walkway a couple of years ago i don't know if you can see that i pick it up I just chiselled out all the mound and I've got one, two, three steps for walking all the way around the garden. Right here at the side of the shed is needing 
a total and utter update. That indeed was a lovely fig. Everything is absolutely rock solid. Well, there's somebody way down here with a dog. I was wondering what Hannibal was doing. Hannibal, just stay here. Stay here. Hey no. Guys, there's a wee... Right, guys, there's a... I had to stop for a wee minute because somebody's walking up the hill with a tiny wee dog. Oh, 